I'm known for my contemporary approach on traditional Japanese tattoo design. The images have very specific symbolism and rules that tattooers need to follow to stay true to the art form. Thank you very much for joining us, man. Thank you. Appreciate Thanks, it. Man. That brings us to this week's elimination tattoo. Japanese. Oh, f Japanese, god damn it. Every meaning on every piece is gonna be brought up. It has to be perfect or we're screwed. Rooted in mythology and natural symbols, Japanese tattoos convey a balance of power and beauty through natural imagery. In Japanese style, there's an even distributional weight throughout the piece. If it's off, it can really make somebody's body look awkward. Good luck. When it comes to doing true Japanese, everything is very deliberate. From the background to the way things line up to the placement on the body, they have to be perfect in order to pull off a rhythm and a balance. Balance is a major element in Japanese tattooing. It's really important to balance the image to background. Cool, cool, cool. And the overall way images move on the body. Sorry if my feet smell. No, you're good, you're good. I've never actually done a real Japanese piece. This particular challenge, I've decided to put my personality aside to create this piece. If I start putting googly eyes on this horse and buck teeth on the samurai chick, I know for a fact that Chris would flip his Even though Jesse's a new school kid, he's hung around this long because his technique and his application are top notch. Hang in there. This week, we asked you to create a Japanese tattoo. We were testing balance. Jesse. Are you comfortable in the Japanese style? Not at all. This is my first one. This is definitely the most non-Jesse tattoo you've done. There's definitely a lot of elements that you hit really nicely. Jewel kind of look in the top of the armor, the little details inside, the drapery, and the clothes, the fabric, really sets it apart and gives it that life. This is a really strict image, and you held to it really well. This was very refreshing for me to see today. It's the closest tattoo to traditional Japanese that I've seen all night. Pulled it off and accomplished the look that we're looking for. Well done. Thank you. One of you impressed us with your balance, and the rest of you didn't even come close. The good news, the judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to Jesse. Thank you. I was impressed how you did your research and your homework, and it showed. Your design was very readable. It was clean, truest to the traditional Japanese tattoo. Well done. Thank you. Today, you must all tattoo the same subject, a Japanese snake. Damn it. Snakes are one of the most symbolic creatures in traditional Japanese tattooing. Traditional Japanese is really hard because it has a whole lot of rules in it. And if you don't know them, you can't follow them. And the one guy who's gonna judge you is Taki, and he's gonna nail the out of you. Japanese tattoos are infamous for incorporating many different elements to create a dynamic image. In order for the elements to work together, they must be in perfect proportion. There is one more obstacle you must face today. All of the canvases want their tattoos on their ribs. Of course they do. Let's do it. Get you all stenciled up. In this elimination tattoo, proportion is important because we're asking them to tattoo a snake, which is recognizable imagery to everybody, and we're asking them to do it in a Japanese style. We're asking them to incorporate something with the snake to really show it in proportion. Pretty cool. Yeah. So you'd want the mouth open? Definitely want the mouth open, and I like sharp teeth. It just makes it look more vicious. I'm really excited about this elimination tattoo. I get a chance to do a really big, ballsy, badass snake. That's a big tattoo to color in in a few hours. Hanging in there? Oh, good. I plan to show proportion with the relation of the size of the flowers to the size of the snake and the size of the snake's head to the size of the snake's body. God damn, look how big that is. I see a big opportunity for me to take this. Today, you had to show your mastery of proportion by tattooing a Japanese snake on your canvas's ribs. Maddie. As far as proportion goes, I really like not only the proportion of the snake to the flowers, but also just the proportion of the snake itself, the length versus the head. I like the way it fits the body. 
Looking at this much tattooing, it's definitely impressive at the amount of coverage that you got and the proficiency that you have doing what you do. Really a nice job. I think there's design flaws, but overall, it's well balanced, it's well proportioned. Good art is good art in any yeah. culture. You want good flow, you want good placement, good proportion. Mm -hmm. I think you pulled that off with this one. Okay, hey, thank you. The judges have determined a winner. The best tattoo of the day goes to Maddie. Thank you. The proportion you showed in this tattoo and the simple layout of it is what collectively we all liked, and you definitely stood out for composition. Here's. Today, you must tattoo a Japanese koi fish. Oh, in front of Chris Nunez. Koi fish rely on clean, solid lines to make them strong, readable images. This thing's got hundreds of scales. It's got lines in its fins. I mean, it's basically built and created out of lines. Without the lines, there is no fish. Not only are you all going head to head with each other, you must also tattoo head to head with our guest judge. What? Who is a master of Japanese tattooing. Who is it going to be? He's the owner of King's Avenue Tattoo. Oh, wow. Mr. Mike Rubendahl. What? Mike Rubendahl is the man. That's the guy to go to if you want a badass Japanese tattoo. All right. Head to head challenge of Mike Rubendahl? Let's see. He's going to murder every one of us. I'm known for my Japanese tattoo design, and I've tattooed hundreds of koi fish. Wow. I'm extremely excited to compete against these other artists. I am going to give them a strong schooling on Japanese today. Today, Mike will also tattoo at the same time. For your tattoo, you must all use the same koi fish. What? Mike has created the outline of the fish, but it's up to you to add the scales, details, and background, making the tattoo come to life on the skin. You've got to be kidding me. I've looked up to this guy for 15 years. If you want to talk about trembling in your britches, now's the time to do it, because this dude is going to rip you apart if you mess this fish up. You'll have six hours to tattoo a koi fish, and based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck to you. Starting out of the gate, it's considered to be a level playing field, but there's so many tricks into scaling. Really understanding the dynamics of the body and the flow of the fins, they still are going to be lost. All right, you ready for this? Today, you had to tattoo head to head with our guest judge. Mike is a master of Japanese tattooing. Let's see what you're up against. Mike, talk to us about your design. My design is a traditional Japanese style koi fish. I tried to make it look interesting in every aspect. The line work is as crisp as it gets. There's no thicker, thinner lines to cover up. It's solid tattooing. These principles are what make things look strong. And when you come here to compete, you're supposed to have knowledge of these principles to do all these challenges. Eric. You showed great contrast between the hot and cold colors. It's applied very technical. It's very readable. You could see this tattoo from the freeway, and I think that's super important when it comes to traditional Japanese tattooing. Cruzman. I would say that this tattoo is one of the most accurately executed koi fish amongst your competitors. Line work is great. I like your choice of color. Overall, the readability in this and the execution is very strong. Matt. I really like the layout of this design. You have a lot of strong outlines and a lot of contrast in the black. Where the water's light versus where the water's black, it's not just random. It appears to have very artistic eye behind it. Overall, I think it's a really strong outing today. All right, time to poll the judges. Who had the best tattoo of the day? Matt, Cruzman, and Eric were my top three. I feel like they really achieved solid line work. The application was spot on. If I could put Eric's color with Matt's aesthetic and Cruzman's water, this would be one stand-up tattoo. Final decision. My final decision is Matt. I'm going to go with Matt for swinging for the fences. The judges have decided the best tattoo of the day goes to Matt. You'll have six hours to tattoo a Japanese dragon with water. And based on your work, one of you will close shop. Good luck. I love Japanese tattooing. It's what I put my time and my career into. You wanted a full dragon, or? You just gotta show me what it looks like, what okay. it will look like. Yeah. There's so many tricks to these, and if you don't know it, it's almost impossible to replicate. I definitely stress line work. I'm trying to throw a bunch of different line weights. A lot of people try to just go bold and keep it that way.
I've been tattooing 25 years. I draw Japanese style tattoos all day long. Man, you got a lot of stuff going on in that thing. I do huge pieces. I, I love it. I'm gonna put claws, scales. Get my damn scale on. Put a little shade in there. Put a little shade in there. That's cool. I got this tattoo in the bag. There's a lot of rules when it comes to traditional Japanese. And you know what? I do my own thing. I do clean rock one Japanese. I do not do any sort of Japanese art. I don't draw it, I don't tattoo it, I don't study it, I don't look at it. Chris. Don't focus on the face. I mean, everything else looks like, um, James Bond has been tattooing for over 20 years. I've only been doing this for five. I need more black in here. I'm trying to figure out where. I so would not do it on that way, dude. Traditional tattoos are really easy to mess up. But you're not gonna do that. Today, James Vaughn challenged you to the ultimate test of legibility, a Japanese dragon with water. Let's start off with clean. In terms of legibility, I do like this tattoo. A lot of times with dragons, it's difficult to see what's going on until you get right up on it. This one from a distance, it's clearly a dragon. It's a pretty killer tattoo. But there's entirely too many white, shiny points of this tattoo for traditional Japanese. This thing was approached like a new school tattoo. These are all things that I, you know, I don't, I don't know. But coming here, you're supposed to know. Anthony. You get a lot of your feel for the tattoo from the first glance, and it has a strong dragon standout dynamic pose, but to make it all make sense is where you show your weakness. Where the water comes over the claw at the bottom right here, there's nothing to show me the connection from that shoulder down to the claw. You needed more water to make it look like that claw was really coming out of something, and then let your body disappear. If you don't know how to make the connection, you gotta hide it. James. From the head all the way to the top, the flow of the spine, I love that. And the really nice scaling that you did and the way that the plates fall over each other on the turns. Overall, man, you definitely show off and do a lot of great things in this. But when you look at the whole tattoo, where's the face? You have that eyebrow, and then the spine of the other body come around is directly right where that eyebrow is. Then you got the nose, and where the body comes off the nose is perfectly right off that nose with the same green. It's so on top of itself. All right, guys, it's time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. Every one of them has challenges. Which one would I side with? James, just because it's the most comprehensive background and foreground. Anthony's is very simple, big dynamic head, claws, nice water, clean tattoo, big, solid, bright, bold. I'm not swaying. So you, final decision, James, James Vaughn. I like Anthony's tattoo, but I see a lot of the same tonal values going throughout it. So for that reason, my firm vote is for clean. The judges have decided that the best tattoo of the day goes to clean. All right, artists, you have six hours to create a mashup tattoo, and your time begins now. All right, let's do it. All right, I'm gonna put your stencil on. Today we're testing ingenuity by having these artists incorporate two or more tattooing styles in one place. First time's a charm, right? Yep, we'll rock and roll. I'm looking for the best drawn tattoos with the most diverse styles incorporated. I'm gonna put a leaf on your knee, okay? Today, you had to think outside of the box create mashup tattoos. Let's see how you did. One. I love it. For Japanese, it's one of the best six-hour tattoos that we've seen. It's really bold and solid. The outline on this thing is perfect. I think it's tough, man. And today, you must tattoo Japanese temples. Oh, oh my god. Yay, Japanese temples. Those things are so intricate and so detailed and they're so structured. Oh my God. So if you're not good at your line work, you're gonna up this temple. It will require expert composition to capture the beauty of these elaborate temples. Wow. So we are looking for you to compose this tattoo. You have to put together something that's a scene. If it's a winter scene, make it feel cold. If it's a beautiful sunny day, make it clear as day. You'll have six hours to show composition tattooing a Japanese temple. Fail to impress the judges, and you'll be sent home. Good luck. Go get it. I would normally approach this with a heavy background and pulling the contrast out, but the judges want just a hard outline around everything to where it looks like a sticker. I actually really like that you're putting a line on the outside of it. I think it's gonna pop everything forward. Yeah, the total opposite of what I've trained myself to do. But for a one-shot piece like this, dude, yeah. like, it's gonna look 
Oh, yeah, I, 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 I agree 100%. I realized I should just do exactly what they're asking for and I can still do me inside the outline. And now that I know what I need to do, this is full speed right here. Ain't no horn on this ride, you getting ran the over. Today, you're being tested on composition, tattooing Japanese temples. TJ. And I really like the way you put this design together. You have a lot of items that are forced together here in an appealing way, which is the definition of composition. A lot of detail. I feel like everything in this tattoo is legible. You have a very constructed border with your cherry blossom branch that actually is a definitive end to a tattoo, and it is a design. I told you, no more backgrounds, joint outlines. All right, guys, it's time to determine who had the best tattoo of the day. For me, it's a clear win. Who's the clear win? TJ. The creativity on the spot and having a focus and idea in mind works, and that, for me, takes the judges have decided the best yeah. tattoo of the day goes to TJ. Traditional Japanese tattooing is a lot like American traditional in the sense that the outline is always a one-pass outline, and then the shading or the color comes in behind it. What are you going to do for the rope as far as colors? Blue and yellow. Yeah, that's what I would do. And you want to try to not get over hyper detailed. I like to put a shit on details on my tattoo. But uh, we're playing a different game today. A lot of these artists have a hard time because they're going to put all these high gloss looks on something that's a carved piece of wood. That is it, dude. Oh my god, so clean. Yep. That's what I'm hoping will save me at the moment. God knows what the this thing would look like if you didn't help me. If you're gonna do a traditional Japanese tattoo, you wanna have at least 10 plus years of experience doing it under your belt. And I don't know, I don't know what I'm doing. Looking at Jason's from here, if I had to put the two of them together, that looks more Japanese traditional, this looks more neo-traditional. I can see Stop it, now. you're in your head. If I don't hit the traditional Japanese style directly on the head, I have to rely on my technical application. If I go home on this tattoo, it's a good tattoo. Absolutely. I mean, I really don't want to go home, so. Should I keep that break right here, that skin break? I like that. Yeah, I got them in mind. Why would you think otherwise? They're on mine. But being so paranoid. Yeah, I'm, gonna, yeah. I'm not being. Yeah, you're being paranoid. It looks good. You could whip out some black from behind it. I hope that you guys aren't just with me. No. My humor is based upon lies. I just like to with people. Five. Four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. Shit is unreal. Elbow butt. <laughs> Danny's just so clean. It makes her nervous. From now on, I'm gonna make sure she only does black and gray. Is Danny's really neo-traditional? Big time. What is mine then? I don't know. You have black shading in yours? Yeah. Neo-traditional. That's why I asked if I should put black shade, and you're like, you. Yeah. You're such an asshole. No, I did not say that to you. It, it may have actually happened. I may have told her to do that. Yours looks fantastic. Wow. <laughs> Today, the six of you had to face off tattooing a color traditional Japanese Hanya mask. Based on your work, one of you will be packing your machines. Danny, you're up first. First off, it's not traditional. It just looks like space age Hanya guy. It's a cool Hanya, not on traditional day. I have a hard time simplifying my own kind of creativeness. At the end, I just wanted to make a good tattoo, really. What's saving you on this is literally the tattooing. It's smooth, it's a sticker, it's incredibly solid. The way that the rope's tattooed, it's all consistent. Technical application alone, this one shines. Thank you. Good job, Danny. Janelle. Hello. First off, I like the forward view. You get one side right, you get the other side right, you're good to go. But I wish it didn't have these teeth on the side, the tusks. That's a tattooer trick, not a traditional look. I was trying to look for all like the original sketches. What original sketch had tusks? Uh, yeah. But I got to say that what you did here is a good look. Your blacks are nice and solid, your red's solid. This Hanya has a good aesthetic look for me. Thank you. You are about to be faced with the most intense tattooing situation of the competition. This week, you'll be judged on all of the essential skills. Line, color, detail, value, dimension. Everything you need to be a master tattooer. You must tattoo a design created by one of the guest judges that you've met. Tattoo Baby, you're going to tattoo Fudo, designed by Troy Denning. You're going to do traditional Japanese. Show me you can outline it, because there's a load of it. Tattoo Baby has always had problems with outlines. So I wanted to give her something repetitive so we could see her line weight and her consistency side by side by side. No bitching, let's see what you got. I'll do this for you guys. 
This drawing has a million lines on it. It's not gonna be easy, but I'm gonna fight to do it. This is too easy. I know, you got a tough one. But that's not all. All four of you will have three hours to tattoo at the same time on the same canvas. Oh, what? What? Here I was thinking this is gonna be a nice, straightforward challenge, and then they dropped the bomb. All of us working at the same time. Somebody's bound to make a movement while you're doing line work that messes you up. If we wanna win, we just shake the canvas really bad. That is insane. Four people, who can take that kind of pain? At this point, I am so stressed out, so overwhelmed. It's insane to finish this piece in three hours. This is gonna be impossible. I know I have a lot to prove to the judges. Come up one pen. I, I can't go higher. I could have you come up to here. Tattoo Baby and me are kind of neck and neck, but Tattoo Baby's dropped the ball more than I have, and she tattoos off her emotions. Holy crap, this is gonna be crazy. This could be my chance to win. I'm already freaking out. <sighs> Your time starts now. You ready? Let's do it. I feel like I'm right here. On the wrong side. On both sides. I'm trying to concentrate and pull off all these straight lines while everybody else is tugging and pulling. Tattoo baby's wiping a lot. And when she wipes, push, pull, push, pull. That whole leg is moving with it. Oh, don't hit my forehead with the machine. Can I get you with it? Sorry. Oh my god, I am freaking out. Maybe I'm hitting you, maybe your head's in the wrong spot. Your hair is just like stuck to the plastic. I think everybody in the field is gonna finish out strong except Tattoo Baby. There's a lot of detail in this tattoo. There's a lot of different line weights that are necessary to make this tattoo look proper and traditional. I don't know if Tattoo Baby's gonna finish at all. I have all the skills to be an ink master. It's not over to the fat lady sings. Starting to hurt? Yes, Rob. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, one. That's it, time's up. Machines down, no more ink. This was your last chance to prove you deserve to compete in the live finale for $100,000 and the title of Ink Master. We asked you to complete two tattoos, one designed for you and one that was artist's choice. You will be judged on both tattoos. Tattoo Baby. When you were handed this design, how did you feel? When people give you the hardest challenge is because they believe in you. My only challenge with this was doing it in three hours. Technically speaking on this tattoo, the flames are nice and saturated. The way you colored the face, great. The line work, you did better than you've done before, but learning to be efficient with that outline, you could knock this thing out. I tried to finish it, but I had to do all those lines in three hours and shade it and color it. You could have finished this tattoo. Tattoo Baby and Kyle. One of you will not be competing in the live finale. The judges have decided. Tattoo baby. You are headed to the finale. What? Congratulations. This was a really tough decision for us. I want to really see you do something amazing. Give these guys a run for their money. Each of you must tattoo four different designs in four different styles. What are we gonna have to tattoo for 24 hours straight? I'm beat down, man. This is nuts. Each of you will create one design for the marathon. On the bottom of each skull is a name of a tattoo style. You must design a tattoo in the style you pick. If you pull artist choice, the style and the subject are completely up to you. Then, all of you must tattoo your design and the other three designs created by your competitors. What? You'll have 90 minutes to tattoo each design, one after another, on the same canvas. This is insane. Japanese. The tattoo marathon is set. The road to the finish line begins right here. Good luck. Cruzman's color Japanese design is next. There you go, little Daruma doll. What the hell's a Daruma? 
the hell's his other eye? That's for you to figure out. You've been tattooing for 20 years and you don't know what a Daruma doll is? Oh, Daruma. Chris asked me where his other eye was. <laughs> This week, you had to prove your endurance and versatility in a tattoo marathon. A trip to the live finale is on the line. Let's see how you did. Cruzman. So how was the tattoo marathon for you? Insane. You drew up something cool. Really, man, what sets this tattoo off is just this solid, one-tone packed red. Very graphic, very simple. Definitely shows to me that this was your design and you owned it. Time to poll the judges. Who wins the tattoo marathon? Cruzman owning this design and executing it the way he did. For me, Cruzman takes it. I love the gray in the face of Cruzman's. I love the blanket solid skin tone that he put in the face. It's very graphic, very typical Japanese way to approach it. I gotta go with Cruzman on this one. The rest of you have one last chance to impress the coaches and earn a spot on the team. Masters, for this elimination tattoo, each of you will pick a style. The artists must tattoo one of those three styles. Steve, what do you pick? Going with Japanese, <laughs> because it's one of the hardest things to do in this competition. I want to see your chops right off the rip, and if you're going to fight, you're going to fight now. Tomorrow, you will have six hours to tattoo. This is your last chance to make it on a team, because six of you will be going home. Good luck. Any critiques or anything you think? You might want it to not look angry, you know? I hear you. Japanese style tattooing is not easy. I picked it to show everybody that I could do it all. They call me fame. It stands for all my enemies. Five, four, three, two, one. That's it. Machine's down. Time is up. No more ink. What do you think? Awesome. Today was your last chance to show the coaches that you deserve to be on one of their teams. There are three spots remaining on each team. And based on your work, nine of you will earn a spot on a team, and six of you will be packing your machines. Let's see how you did. Fame. The line quality is very strong. Your shading solid. Looking at how smooth the black and gray looks, it's very nice. All right, now it's time to finalize the teams. Coaches, today the power's in your hands. Each of you has three spots remaining on your team. You can pick whatever artist you want, but if more than one of you wants the same artist, that artist gets to decide which team they want to be on. All right, coaches, which of these artists do you want on your team? Fame. Fame. We're from the same area. With a little bit of coaching, he's another one that can go all the way to the end. To make it through this competition is about versatility. With all these versatile artists on this team, you can make it to the end. Let's keep it loyal. That's Connecticut. Team Steve.